Magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat. Ako po si Jojo Chibere. Narito na naman po tayo ang inyong lingkod upang uh, magbigay o magbahagi ng uh, kaunting kalaman. No? Actually, uh, ito po ay pagpapatuloy natin ang ating napag-usapan last time yung tungkol dun sa life, life-changing principles. No? Life-changing principles. Ngayon po ay tayo po ay nasa part 2. Yung una pong Yung part 1 po ay nagbahagi po tayo ng uh, ikang uh, anim na life-changing principles. No? So ngayon po yung part 2, uh, bibigay din po tayo, magbabahagi din po tayo ng anim ulit, 6 life-changing principles. The last time or the part 1, uh, last uh, life-changing principles that we uh, tackled is yung number 6. Uh, it's about the vehicle. No? The vehicle meaning uh, ito yung vehicle. Life-changing principle part 2. Nandito po tayo ngayon sa uh, ika nga eh, uh, pangalawang part, uh, portion no? ng ating uh, life-changing principle. Actually, uh, the last time na pinag-usapan natin yung part 1, ang life-changing principle na natakal natin yung number 6. Balikan ko lang po yung number 6. Yung po yung uh, tinatawag na uh, vehicle. O kaya yung tinatawag vehicle to achieve your dreams. Ano ibig sabihin ng vehicle to achieve your dreams? Ito yung gagamitin natin. No? Gagamitin natin upang tayo ay... Uh, kumita, magkaroon ng income o kaya gagamitin natin upang maabot natin ang ating pangarap o ating tagumpay. No? Kasi ang vehicle, ito yung mag, 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 uh, mag uh, dadala sa iyo. Kung ano man ang pupuntahan mo o kung ano man ang goal mo, kung ano man ang dreams mo. No? Ano yun yung magdadala sa iyo. In other words, simple lang yung pinag-usapan natin tungkol dito sa number 6. Yun po ay yung pagninegosyo. Alam naman natin na karamihan ng uh, mga naging successful kung ang nag-uusapan natin, gusto natin lahat tayo ay maging, maging successful sa buhay in terms of yung wealth, kailangan natin negosyo talaga. No? Hindi naman po tayo against o wala naman po tayong sinasabing uh, about uh, employment. But uh, let's face it, uh, 90%, even 95%, hindi naman talaga na-achieve natin ang ating mga pangarap sa pagiging habang buhay na lamang ay empleyado. No? Kailangan po natin talaga mag-isip, kailangan natin magsikap at kailangan natin uh, tunguhin ang buhay pag minigosyo. No? Ang pag minigosyo, uh, ito po ay masasabi nating journey. Hindi naman po ito yung instant na pag nagnegosyo ka ngayon, bukas makalawa o kaya sa isang buwan o isang taon, successful ka na. Lalo na kung ikaw ay baguhan sa pag minigosyo hindi mo makukuha yan ng isang taon. No? Uh, matagumpay ka na. Napaka-slim ng uh, chance na ganyan. No? Karamihan uh, sa pagninegosyo, maabot ng limang taon bago uh, ika nga eh, uh, maging matagumpay. Sampung taon, yan, mga ganyan. Ano? That is kung uh, ika nga eh, yung traditional business na papasukin mo. Kasi mayroong business na talagang abutin ka ng siyam-siyam. Abutin ka ng limang taon, 20 years, o 10 years, 20 years, bago ka maging successful talaga. Pero kung ibang sistema ng pagninegosyo, legitimate naman, legal naman, na mayroong ganong klase, dalawang taon, tatlong taon, matagumpay na yun. Eh, lalo na kung skilled na to, no? lalo na kung bihasa na, may mga experience na sa ganong klaseng negosyo, eh, alam niya na yung pasikot-sikot, no uh, madali niya ma-achieve yon yung ganong uh, success no i'm talking about yung network marketing or direct selling business kasi kadala- kadalasan pagkabiyasa na sa network marketing business o direct selling business in one year time or two years time nakakuha nila kaagad yung income na 100,000 a month or even uh, 200,000 a month ano uh, mga biyasa na kasi to sa ganung kla- sa ganung klasing larangan ng negosyo pipili ka nga lang ng legitimate uh, business na network marketing business. Kasi madali naman aralin yan. Uh, malalaman at malalaman mo yan na 
uh, ika nga legal o legitimate ang isang network marketing business kung uh, papasukin mo, plano mo ang uh, network marketing business na maging behikulo, vehicle mo to succeed, no? to, to become successful. Isa yan kasi sa mga behikulo. Actually, pag-aaralan natin yan eventually sa mga susunod na uh, video and uh, hopefully meron kayong mga open-minded you are open-minded about that business. Uh, although there are many, ano, ano, mga, ika, ika nga, mga wrong notions or yung mga tinatawag na uh, maling akala sa industriya or sa business, sa negosyo ng network marketing business. In fairness, marami pong legitimate. Pero pag-uusapan po natin yan, eventually, exclusive lang tungkol sa network marketing business. Pero the point is, Business lang po ang uh, pwede natin gamitin kung gusto po natin talagang maging matagumpay o uh, ika nga eh, mag, maging, maging successful in life. In terms of uh, yung siguro yung nahanap natin, alam naman natin yun kung ano ibig sabihin ng successful, literal na successful para sa atin. Ano? Hindi po yung may utang ka pa rin, successful ka pero dami mong utang, dami mong binabaan, dami mong obligasyon. Although hindi naman lahat ng, ikaw nga, lahat talaga ng may negosyo, maraming utang. Pero the point is, yung success na inaanap natin, yung wealth, yung talagang ikaw nga eh, uh, nandun na yung, nandun yung time freedom, uh, financial freedom, yan. No? Financially free. No? Then time, mayroong ang time freedom. Anyway, uh, naitakal lang po natin dito. Lahat, but uh, we have to proceed on success principle number seven. Yung success number seven, pag-usapan po natin yan. Uh, let's go with successful, uh, success principle. Or yung tinatawag natin life-changing principle number seven. But before that, this is our part two. Let me just introduce myself again. This is, uh, my name is Jojo Echeverri. Uh, I'm a Filipino inventor. No? Kasi po akong Filipino inventor, member of Filipino Inventor Society. And yan po ang aking uh, ika nga utility model. Uh, yan yung certificate ng ating uh, invention. No? Uh, lahat po kaming mga inventor, eh, meron pong tinatawag na certificate. Yan, yung certificate na yan na nagpapatunay na tayo po ay isang inventor. Yan. So, yan po yung ating mga ilan sa mga Filipino inventors. Actually, uh, there are almost a, a thousand Filipino inventors nationwide, no? Kaya lang iba, hindi pa certified, hindi patented, walang patent na ika nga eh, on pending, pending yung kanilang patent, no? Kasi yung iba, ayaw talaga magpa-register uh, ng kanilang patent. Ayaw nilang magpa-register ng patent dahil daw baka gayain ang kanilang invention. Pero ganun talaga, part ng risk yan ng inyong uh, invention. O kung kayo po ay isang inventor na nakikinig, ay ilabas nyo yung inyong produkto. I-certify nyo, uh, i-register nyo sa Intellectual Property Office para nang sa ganun ay ma-certify kayo as Filipino inventor. Alright? So, yan po yung ating mga kasamahan. Ayan po, yung ating, uh, meron po akong dinedemo dyan na produkto sa mga sudyante. Kasi po yung produkto ko is a board game. Right? Ayan po, si Joey, Senador Joey Lina, kasama po namin sa aming Filipino Inventor Society. Ayan po, katabi po natin. Uh, ito si uh, Senator Joey Lina. Ayan. Yung nasa uh, naka-black na uh, coat. No? Uh, yung nasa kabilang side nasa left, uh, left side I mean yeah, yeah, nasa left side ko na naka black coat okay. also I am a financial coach yeah, nagtuturo po tayo ng ika nga I mean, nagbibigay tayo ng information nagkukos tayo tungkol sa financial uh, uh, literacy no? pag-iingat sa pera ang acting pong kliyente is yung Hyundai Asia, meron po tayong kooperatiba, real estate, yan, tuturo po tayo individual, nagko-coach tayo para sa individual. And then of course, isa nating kaibigan, si John Calub, Mr. John Calub, ay napagbigyan tayo ng 
pagkakataon na kong mag-coach sa kanyang grupo, I mean sa kanyang team. Okay? Isa rin po tayong negosyante, entrepreneur o entrepreneur. No? Ayan po, may sarili po tayong website, ang excelpinoy.com. Ayan po ay ating uh, website. Ito po ang ating Facebook site. No? Uh, I mean sa YouTube site. No? Uh, Excel Pinoy. No? Ikita niyo po yung aking video uh, sa Excel Pinoy. Of course, I have also uh, a, pen, a fan page of my business Cupido RTW 3D. Meron po siyang fan page sa Facebook. And Okay, let's proceed to number seven of our uh, life-changing principle, right? So number seven is what we call mentor. Ano nga ba ang kahulugan ng mentor? Mentor is more than an advisor. No? Advisor, sometimes you are almost only knowledgeable. But the mentor is not only knowledgeable, but also experience. Let's say if you're looking for a mentor or uh, someone who could give you an advice about your business na papasukin mo, at kailangan mo ng mentor, see to it that uh, yung kakausapin mo, your mentor, is experience dun sa business na papasukin mo the business na alam na gusto mong pasukan kailangan yung mentor mo ano yung ikaw nga yung magbibigay sa iyo ng uh, ng coach no magko-coach sa iyo dapat meron siyang experience dun sa business na papasukin mo kung magpaplano ka halimbawa ng franchising business dapat ang mentor mo may alam sa franchising business right at least 5 years alam niya sa uh, sa franchising business Kung traditional business naman, buy and sell, no? ang papasukin mong pag negosyo dapat umanap ka ng mentor na 5 to 7 years or 10 years ang experience para maturuan ka ng tama. Uh, what if network marketing business ang papasukin mo, direct selling business? Dapat ang pasukin mo, yung, ang, ang, ang mentor mo, ang kausapin mong mentor, dapat meron siyang alam sa negosyo yun, let's say 10 years na, nag-engage siya sa network marketing business or direct selling business at least 5 uh, five years 10 years 20 years experience no mas maganda mas mahaba kasi pag mentor kasi din marami nang nas na daanan to na pagsubok trial bago makatawid bago bago maging successful so basically ang question is who would be your mentor sino nga ba ang magiging mentor mo sa buhay I mean, sa negosyo ang papasukin mo. Of course, sa buhay. Ganun din naman yun, no? Buhay pag negosyo. Okay? So, kailangan alam mo yung mentor mo kung sino. Kailangan mo kung yung mentor mo kung sino. At uh, background check mo kung uh, ano nga ba experience niya. Magko-connect ba kayo pagdating sa negosyo, yung plano mong pasukin at yung mentor mo. Matuturuan ka ba niya ng pasikot-sikot pagdating sa negosyo. Right? So, yan po ang number seven natin na mahalaga po magkaroon tayo ng mentor. Life change principle number seven, we need a mentor. Of course, number eight, we need a team. Ako, uh, simple ang philosophy ko dito. No? no man is an island. Yan yung sinasabi nga nila. No? May kasabihan na that no man is an island. Hindi tayo pwede mag-isa sa buhay. Hindi tayo pwede walang kasama, walang katim. Lalo na kung pagninegosyo ang ating pag-uusapan. Kung pagninegosyo ang ating pag-uusapan, kailangan mo ng team. Matatag na team, matibay na team. Meron tinatawag na uh, dignidad. Uh, meron tinatawag na credibility. Or ika nga, eh, uh, yung team na yan, eh, uh, willing din, sumunod. I mean, willing na... Kaya nga, uh, sum, sum, uh, sum, subukan, I mean, yung may mission and vision din na katulad mo. No? Yung team na tipong 
uh, alam nila yung magiging mission nila, alam nila yung magiging vision nila, base doon sa mission and vision na gusto mong mangyari. Let's say yung tatayo mong company, uh, ang produkto niya ay RTW, apparel, or any any product that you want to, you can have to promote in the market or to set up a business. Uh, at you, what you need at uh, a team uh, is yung kailangan mo dapat yung uh, ano din sa mission and vision mo. Sumasang-ayon, ika nga. Or willing, may willingness to, to take uh, uh, yung tinatawag na willing to be part of your journey, business journey. No? He or she knows your mission and vision. So yun yung team na uh, willing to sacrifice uh, in terms of yung time, ano, talent, treasures, willing to sacrifice for the mission and vision of your organization or your company or your business. Kasi so, kapag ang team mo, lihis, mahirap talaga sa negosyo yun. Uh, experience ko na rin yan. No? Uh, ang team, dapat yung, alam mo yung dragon ball, uh, dragon bank, uh, uh, boat na yan, dragon boat, kung tawagin. Di ba? Kapag nanood ka ng Dragon Boat competition, lahat ng uh, kasama dun sa team, uh, pagdating sa Dragon Boat, isa lang ang sagwan. Isang lakas, isang timing, isang uh, direksyon. No? Yung bilis, isa. Ganyan ang Dragon Boat. Eh. Or else, iiwanan ka ng kalaban mo, no? ng competitor. Kasi kailangan dyan, uh, isa lang ang galaw mo. In other words, if you are planning to set up your own business, planning to have your own business, uh, the team that you are looking for, or that you should look for, is yung susunod sa mission and vision mo. No? Uh, not necessarily uh, sunod-sunuran or parang aso na, uh, na tipong o dog na sunod-sunuran in a way, but of course, uh, he knows what's your mission and vision. And you have to stick on your mission and vision. No, hindi yung lilihis. Kasi yung hirap talaga pag lilihis. May hirapan ng negosyo. Alright? So, kailangan natin ng team. That's uh, number eight success. I mean, uh, life-changing principle na ang kailanganin mo. If you want to be successful. So, again, team that will help we strategize and meet your goal. Yan, yung pangarap na gusto mong maabot. Dapat yung team mo, yung kakausapin yung team, o ibubuo mong team o organize mong team, dapat iisa kayo ng mission and vision to achieve your goal. Number nine, next changing principle is take charge. Take charge meaning uh, kailangan uh, manindigan ka. Ano? Tumayo ka. Kung magninegosyo ka, if you have plan to set up your own business, you have to take charge. Especially when you're down or when your business is not making money. If your business is not making money, almost a year, lahat kayo loss. Meaning, take charge, you have to take charge. Meaning, wala kang dapat sisihin. You don't have to, uh, to, to pin down anyone on your team because mahirap naman po yung manisi ka. Especially, uh, lahat naman kayo ng decision. I have an experience with that. No, I have set up uh, a three companies. Nakapag-set up na po tayo ng three companies, three corporations. May mga partner po tayo. Yung unang, part, uh, unang corporation na sinet up ko is lima po kami. Lima kaming magkakapartner, isang doktor, tatlong bankero, mga mga bankers, at isa pong inventor. Dalawa po pula kaming Pilipino inventor, pero doktor yung isa. Okay? So, take charge. And then, uh, of course, yung ating naita yung business na yung pangalawang business is uh, uh, corporation din, no? Meron tayong mga partner doon na Siyam kami mga magkakapartner sa church. So, mahirap manis eh, lalo na kung lahat kayo nag-desisyon. 
uh, wala. especially if you have the board of directors like nagmi-meeting kayo hindi naman makakapagdesisyon ang isang chairman of the board or isang presidente ng company no hindi niya pwedeng pagdesisyunan yon unless uh mayroong desisyon ang majority of the board no actually sa bylaws tinatanggap naman yung desisyon ng president nga lang, mayroong limitation. No, hindi lahat ng bagay pwedeng desisyonan ng president ng company. Kasi execution lang naman ng president. Eh. Mag-execute lang sila base sa napag-usapan ng board of directors. Kapag ang board of directors nag-decide and then uh, that is execu executory meaning kailangan desisyonan ng uh, executive. Pag, uh, implement execute ng executive hindi pa pwedeng i-delay once na nag-decision ang board of directors. Especially, majority of the board decided on one uh, resolution. No? Pagka gumawa ng resolution, board of resolution, dapat nag-decision, uh, na execute ng president, ang executive committee. Alright? Now, we're talking of take charge, taking charge. Taking charge meaning, wala kang dapat ituro pag nagkamali sa negosyo. Wala ang dapat sihin kapag nagkamali sa negosyo. Ganun talaga nangyayari yung uh, pagkakamali sa negosyo. Kung sinabing take charge na sa iyo lahat, ibig sabihin, ikaw ang dapat sumagot. I mean, ikaw ang dapat ma tumayo, manindigan. So, uh, wala ang dapat ituturo na nagkamali or whatever. Kasi ikaw yung president, ikaw yung chairman of the board. So, bilang isang leader, you have to take charge of what decisions or uh, whatever decisions that, have, that uh, you have made, especially if you are part of the team, right? Okay? And, um, uh, so, yeah, again, it's, it's you, no one else. It's you. So, yung mga magagandang bagay, importanteng bagay, decisionan mo na agad. Lalo na kung napag-usapan na ng directors. Number 10, it's about commitment. And this time, uh, this life-changing principle number 10, this is applicable to all walks of life or to, eh, nga, or to anything that you want to do. Let's say, it is this is also applicable in, uh, let's say, in an organization like uh, ministry or church or business no? or anything that you want to set up to establish or to meet. What you need is commitment. It, and it should be 100% commitment. Once you have decided it, when, once you have started it, then commit to it till the end. You have to commit till the end. You have to finish what you uh, finish what you have uh, started. Okay? So, hindi ko pwedeng putol-putol, uh, no? Hindi ko pwedeng uh, bukas makalawa, wala na. Okay? So, you have to commit whatever it takes. Ika nga, 100%. Pag may, nag, uh, may nasimulan, mas magandang tapusin. Alright? So, tapusin para na sa ganun ay yung project matapos hindi masayang yung pera na uh, in-invest nyo. Lalo na kung negosyo ang pag-uusapan. Once you join in, once you uh, ikaw nga, eh, invest in, nag-invest ka sa business na yan, you have to commit yourself. Uh, uh, Pag-aaralan mo siya, matututunan mo siya lahat, lahat ng pasikot-sikot, you have to commit. Sometimes you have to stop, but do not quit. Meaning, pag nag-stop ka, nagpapahinga ka lang nun. No? Do not quit. Iba yung stop, iba yung quit. Quit is totally abandoning what you have started. Stop, meaning, Dahil napagod ka, nagpahinga ka lang. Yung 
Yes. Uh, this commitment, especially uh, uh, very common ito, uh, yung commitment, salitang commitment, very common ito dun sa ika nga, yung mga normally. No? Yung normally, yung mga let's see, makikipag-set up ka ng appointment or meron kang nakausap, then nag-set up ka ng commitment. No matter what it takes, no? No matter how hard it takes, uh, may mga ikang challenges along the way. Let's say magseset kayo ng meeting appointment, and then umulan. You don't have to say or you don't have to make some excuse, since uh, na pag-usapan na na decision. Then you have to be there. No, sa pinag-usapang lugar, appointment, or as whatever it takes. Kung, kung umulan, then go, go on. No, hindi pa pwedeng kasi umulan o yung bumagyo. Unless yung kausap mo na decision. Lalo na kung ikaw ay nag, 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 nagpa-prospect, ano, magpe-present ng isang negosyo, hindi ka ang dapat mag-ano ng, mag, ano, ng tinatawag na cancel ng appointment. Dapat ang mag-cancel ng appointment yung client, yung prospect. Kung ikaw ay nagpo-propose ng isang negosyo, dapat hindi sa iyong manggagaling yung cancellation. No, just in case something happen, mulan, bumagyo, or ano man ang nangyari, hindi ikaw ang dapat nagka-cancel. Ang nagka-cancel should be your client or your customer. Normal lang yun. No, normal yon yung magka-cancel lang uh, ang isang uh, client or customer. Depende yan sa needs o pangangailangan or situation. Pero mong gagaling sa iyo as much as possible, you have to avoid it, you have to prevent it because the, uh, your cre credibility, your integrity would suffer or uh, madudungisan yung credibility mo. No? So that's uh, what we call commitment. Whatever it takes, no? commitment until you finish what you have started. That's commitment. Until you finish the project or finish uh, your goal. All right? So medyo mahirap, uh, medyo challenging. Challenging to commitment. Until you meet your goal. Okay? Number 11 life-changing principle is uh, never-ending improvement. Uh, also, this number 11 is also challenging because uh, uh, improvement doesn't mean uh, nanggagaling lang sa experience or nakita mo. Yung improvement, dapat kung ano yung... Uh, Ika nga, let's say sa isang produkto. Sa isang produkto, uh, mayroon kang nakita na pwede siyang ma-improve. Then, improve mo siya. No? Never-ending improvement. Pero kung sarili mo, halimbawa, in terms of personal, kung sinabing never-ending improvement, you never stop with one book. You should not stop with one book. If, if you can, you have to read uh, as much as you can, as much as many books as you can. Start reading books, let's say uh, a book a month or a book, uh, uh, a book a week. Because never ending improvement doesn't stop with uh, when you're when you finish college. Doesn't stop there. Maraming ganun eh, no? Maraming uh, tumigil sa pag-improve ng kanilang sarili kasi sinasabi nilang, eh graduate na ako ng college. No, I tapos na ako nito, no? Never ending improvement meaning uh, patuloy, no? Kasi there's what we call obsolescence. Obsolescence meaning that's the reason why 90% of the uh, the people, the, the population hindi nag-fit lalo na nowadays uh, we are on the information age. Information age is different from what we call agricultural age or what we call industrial age. Agricultural age and industrial age is different from information age. 
nowadays is very, very challenging and yet very accessible ang lahat ng bagay. Hindi katulad nung araw. No? Pag gusto mo matuto ng isang bagay, eh, talaga magre-research ka. Magpupunta ka sa library or pupunta ka sa mga taong dapat mong kausapin. And even it takes one month or two, two, two weeks para lang matuto ka. No? But this time, which, uh, since na information age na tayo, very accessible ang lahat. It's up to you now, if you want to improve more, then never stop improving. Why not uh, read an articles every day, read a book every day, even a page book every day? So, nang sa ganun, um, yung improvement, yung natutunan mo, ay tuloy-tuloy. No? Na-improve ka from next level to the next level, from first level, second level, third level. You should not stop improving yourself, especially uh, nowadays, very challenging. Lalo na yung mga kabataan ngayon, yung mga next generation. Our next generation, uh, di ba, sa, sa generation before, no? uh, masyado ng uh, ano na ngayon, no? uh, para bang neglected ang karamihan, ang, ang parang bagay. Uh, and most of the time, gusto natin easy, gusto natin madali, gusto natin yung instant. Improvement never stop from, from ika nga eh, a subject or yung natapos mong curriculum or kung natapos mong kolehiyo or whatsoever. It should be continuous, continuous, continuous and never ending. No? Just never stop improving. At my age, lalo na ngayon, uh, sa, uh, inabutan namin, nasa halfway kami, nabutan namin yung parang agricultural o industrial age, and then nasa gitna kami noon, nung tinatawag na information age in between agricultural and information age, no? yung pagbabago. So marami kaming kwento tungkol dyan, ano? yung tipong paano nagbago yung, self, uh, yung telepono ng araw na ika nga, Iba itsura ng telepono ng araw. Ngayon, internet pwede nang gamitin sa telepono. No? Or wireless na ngayon ng telepono. Nung araw, nakakunik pa yan. Cords. So maraming improvement. That's the reason why um, challenge nowadays iba eh. No? Kung gusto mong lumaban sa buhay, uh, you have to improve more. And the reason why I'm uh, uh, Doing this, uh, uh, I mean, doing this uh, video recording or uh, before, no, uh, hindi natin kaya gawin to before. I mean, the reason why I continue doing this uh, is to share. Then doing uh, a video is not easy because hindi naman namin napag-aralan to before. Self-learning, self-study lang tong ginawa ko paano ako natuto mag-video recording, paano mag, uh, gumawa ng thumbnail, paano gumawa ng mga bagay tungkol sa video, paano mag, uh, ano ng video uh, camera, whatsoever, dami. So, malayo to sa natutunan ko, napag-aralan ko na, na, sa school, no? malayong malayo. Pero I never stop learning, I never stop improving myself simply because I want to be competitive. That's the simple reason. I want to be competitive, especially nowadays. Uh, competition is a, uh, sabi nga nila, napakatalamok ng competition right, right, right now. Hindi pa pwedeng, uh, isa lang alam mo. No? Obsolism is real. Real. No? Totoo ang tinatawag na obsolism. And obsolism, kapag uh, hindi mo, hindi mo tinignan niyan, eh, may pag-iiwanan ka. Obsolism, I tell you, is real. Totoo po ang obsolism. We don't know in the few years' time, in next 10 years or 20 years, we don't know kung USB is still uh, gagamitin pa. No? Before, if, uh, pag, gina, pag gusto mo mag-save ng isang data sa computer, floppy disk pa ang, 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 uh, ang kailangan mong gamitin. Tapos dumating yung point na pinalitan ng floppy disk ng tinatawag na disk. 
no? disk. And then until this time, naging USB na siya. So, if you're not going to, if you are going to stop improving yourself, hindi ka magiging competitive. So, kailangan tuloy-tuloy, walang tapos, walang katapusan ng pag-aaral, ang pag-improve. Alright? So, until, again, your goal, never stop improving yourself. And then, of course, number 12, the last, is uh, develop more skills. This is very important, especially if you are going to uh, engage in business. You want to be an entrepreneur. No? Kailangan, you have to develop more skills. What are skills that you have to make uh, some uh, improvement or uh, developing your skills. Some example of skills is what we call, let's say if you have a business, you're going to have a set up your own business, uh, put up your own business. Lalo na kung direct selling or network marketing business yan, or even traditional or buy and sell business. Prospecting skills is one of what we call skills. Prospecting. You must uh, study on how to prospect, how to get some prospect. Because you can never have a sales, you can never have a, what we call the uh, course, ang tinatawag sa Tagalog na benta, no, benta or sales. Yung magkakaroon ng sales kung isa lang ang client mo or prospect mo. In prospect mo, you have to make sala, nga, you have to trim down your prospect into uh, up, uh, ikaw nga, a client or customer. Ito yung prospect. Buka ka ng mga prospect, makikipag-set up ka ng appointment, i-trim down mo pa yan into, pro, into, into customer or prospect. Ay, I mean, sorry, uh, client. Hindi lahat ng prospect o oh, o oh, oh, sa'yo. Sasang-ayon sa'yo. Let's see, nakapag-set up ka ng appointment, hindi naman sasagayin yun. O oh, sige, meet tayo. So yung prospect, let's say, you have a prospect list of 100, Ang pwede mong ging customer mo dyan, client, maybe 50%. Then 50%, matitrim mati down pa yan into, ikaw nga, yung tinatawag na close sales. Yung 50, that is your client or prospect from 100, per, 100 prospect. Yung 100 prospect na trim down into 50 client or customer. And then, yung 50 na yan, matitrim down pa yan into what we call a close sales. Maaaring yung 50 na customer mo ay napresentahan mo pero pwedeng 10 lang dyan ang mabenta mo. Or uh, slima lang dyan ang mabentahan mo. So you have to develop your skills in terms of yung tinatawag na prospecting skills. So skills, the more, the better. Organizing skills is one of which pagkatapos mong matuto ng prospecting, Kailangan marunong ka rin sa organizing skills or even presentation skills. Presentation skills is yan. Kailangan din i-develop yan. Okay? Presentation skills, what else? Uh, communication skills. You have to develop also your communication skills. Hindi ka pe pwede mag-stay. Stick with one language. If possible, uh, uh, develop mo rin yung communication skills in terms of yung, uh, let's say, Marunong ka sa Tagalog, marunong ka ng Pilipino, I mean Tagalog, then uh, if possible, you have to learn also to, how to speak English or other lang, language or dialect, let's say Bisaya or whatsoever. Because the, the, the customers or the clients, uh, ang dami nito eh, no? iba't ibang lingwa, iba't ibang dialect, especially here in the Philippines, uh, ang dami mong makakausap na iba't iba. May mga Bisaya, may Cebuano, may mga Batanggenyo or what's Lalo na kung hindi, although marami na rin marunong magtagalog, but again, uh, kapart yun ang tinatawag na communication skills. You have to develop your communication skills. What else? So I have mentioned the prospecting skills, the presentation skills, communication skills, the organizing skills, and then of course the marketing skills. Marketing skills, hindi yan iisang approach lang ang marketing skills. 
is not a buy and sell, buy and sell skills. No? Bibili ka, then benta mo, bili ka, benta mo. No? Marketing is broad to the point that you have to use all the technology, you have to use the, the, art, the print ads, the billboards. That's part of the marketing skills. Internet, uh, social media. So maraming paraan ng uh, marketing skills. And you have to develop your marketing skills, especially if you want to compete. No? If you want to be uh, what we call advantage or advantages or uh, how do you call that? Uh, maging competitive sa negosyo ang gagalawan mo. Hindi ba pwedeng isang approach lang. And then you have, you don't have to change all the time. Once na hindi nag-succeed ang business mo, then you have to change product and you change your Rather, you have to change your strategy. What is your strategy? Kasi hindi ba pwedeng isang approach lang. No? Buy and sell, buy and sell. No? You have to change your strategy, especially the marketing skills. Right? So that is number 12, uh, life-changing principles. Now, going back to uh, uh, part one of this life-changing principles course, uh, you have to uh, learn all those uh, life-changing principles one at a time, if possible, on a weekly basis. Or if you can, make it uh, on a daily basis. Daily basis, you have to memorize and then uh, apply. Once you memorize, don't forget your, uh, no, and then we apply. The more na may apply natin yung mga life-changing principles na yan, then eventually magsisink in yan sa buhay mo and then madidevelop ka. Right? It doesn't take me, I mean, uh, these skills, facing people, conducting business seminar, uh, na-experience ko po yan, ano, mag-conduct ng seminar sa iba't ibang areas, of the Philippines, Luzon, Isayas, uh, uh, from north to south, masasabi natin north to south, uh, one of which is, of course, sa Bulacan, na invite tayo dyan, six weeks tayo dyan sa Bulacan, and then uh, nakarating pa ako ng north sa Garay, Bulacan, para lang mag-conduct ng business seminar, so six weeks tayo dyan, sa Mar uh, Marilao, Santa Maria, Bulacan, kala tayo dyan sa Bulacan, and then, of course, Batangas, Cavite, uh, GMA, General uh, GMA, Cavite, Tajan, even to North, Dau, Baguio, na-invite po tayo sa mga area na yan to conduct business seminars. Right? So, hindi po naging madali sa akin yung skills na to, yung presentation skills, because the first time I kumaga, experience yung pagharap sa tao, Eh, nangapapo tayo noon. Nangapapo ako noon. Ibig sabihin, unang salang, magkakanda ka ng business seminar, eh, hindi mo naman talagang mape-perfect yan. Wala namang ano din sa unang salang. Talagang nandiyan yung magkamali ka, no? But of course, uh, part yun, ang tinatawag na experience. No? Experience mo. And then, kapag uh, hindi mo naman tinigil yan, tuloy-tuloy-tuloy-tuloy lang, then, uh, madidevelop your skills mo when it comes to presentation skills. Table talk, one-on-one, -on -one, yan. Ay, maramihan, ka nga, tinatawag na party, presentation, yan. So, I have made already, I have already experienced or conducted business seminars for almost 250 times. And today, tuloy-tuloy uh, pa rin yan, ano? Yung 250 times, nandiyan yung na-develop lahat ng uh, kinakailangan ma-develop. But again, I'm not saying that uh, I'm, uh, I'm already, already uh, skilled pool or yung nga, marunong ma, ano, but I have to develop more. Natuloy-tuloy lang yan. As I've said, communication skills is kailangan. Organizing skills, presentation skills, expecting skills, uh, marketing skills, and business skills. Ano ang mga dapat mo i-develop at continue developing yourself. Okay. So, yan po ang ating from 7 to 12 uh, life-changing principles. <coughs> Ito naman po hindi naman kailangan <coughs> kabisayan ng mabilisan. All you need is paisa-isa at uh, makabisa mo. 
then mag-sync in. So, mag-sync in. Mag-sync in lang yan kapag in-apply mo na. Na totoong buhay. Then kahit nakapikit ka, alam mo na kung ano sinasabi mo. Alam mo na kung ano ang gagawin mo. So, next episode, pag-uusapan natin yung uh, from 13 to 18 uh, life-changing principles. And uh, at uh, subaybayan niyo po yun and then uh, meron po tayong magandang topic tungkol dyan. Again, this is Jojo Chibere, your uh, entrepreneur, your Filipino inventor, and uh, financial advocate. So thank you very much. Good day.